Hey there everybody, Electro here, and today I'm going to show you how you can make an analog drum machine using a subtractive synthesizer. So you need at least two things, and that is a basic oscillator and a noise generator, as well as an envelope. So we're going to want to use the envelope for pitch, but on the Pulver Satur we don't have an envelope for pitch. So what we can do is assign the LFO to work in a sort of one-shot mode by using the trigger button. Basically what the trigger button does is every time a note is hit, the LFO resets. So you can kind of basically use it like a one-shot effect. So we have our OSC1 set here. I'm going to set the LFO to OSC1. Then I'm going to set the depth to negative 100%. This should make a downward pitch. I'm going to set the LFO waveform type to ramp here. So that should make sort of a, a downwards pitch sound. Let's see. Okay, so. We can hear that. So all we're going to want to do now is adjust the amplitude envelope so that it only goes down one time instead of continually uh, repeating. So let's set this here. I'm going to set the decay, turn off sustain, and release. Now I'm going to modify the rate value. Okay, so as you can hear, we have a sort of basic kick sound. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a noise oscillator. Okay, so that doesn't really sound like a kick, but here's where the interesting part comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to assign keyboard tracking to the filter frequency which will mean that low notes will play without the noise and high notes will play with the noise. In between, we'll play a combination of noise because basically what the keyboard tracking does is it slowly opens the filter as the notes go upward on the keyboard. That way you have very high end as hats, very low end as kicks, and the middle you can use as snares. So let's try that. I'm going to adjust the frequency a bit so we don't really hear the noise. So as you can see here, I just kind of move the note up a bit and gives a sort of little snare sound. So now if we go all the way to the top of our notes here, we can add hats. Now, the routing options on the Pulver Sat are a little limited. If there was a few more features where you could route keyboard tracking to other parameters, this is where you'd want to use it if you're using another synthesizer. But since we don't have that, I'm just going to manually shorten the notes. That way they sound more like hats. Okay, so that's the very basic idea of how to get the drum kit started. But now the interesting thing about making a drum kit with an analog synthesizer is that there is a very wide range of flexibility in automating the parameters. For example, uh, I could add in some filter envelope here. Or play with the filter.
So that's the basic gist of how you make an analog drum machine. It's pretty interesting, especially if you have a synthesizer that has split mode or more interesting options for multiple patches in a single program. Uh, so you could create drum sounds and drum loops with your analog synthesizer and of course automate it as the track goes on to create some very interesting rhythms. Anyways, I hope you have some fun with this idea. This is Electro signing out.